And as I noted at the top of the program, Johnson & Johnson, J&J, &J, that old school U.S. based multinational specializing in medical devices, pharmaceuticals and consumer packaged goods, they are in the hot seat. A report out today from Reuters says that asbestos was contained in baby powder. The stock has dropped like a stone. Here to discuss is Melissa Armo, the CEO of the stock swoosh. Hey, Melissa, uh, what do we know about this and is the stock still tanking? I think I saw it earlier today. It may have dropped like 15 bucks from like 148 to 133, something like that. And it happened in like a heartbeat this morning. Uh, what's the latest? Well, as you know, panic action selling comes in really quickly. And there was very negative news out on this stock. Although I have to say the chart looked really good before today. Now it doesn't look so hot. It closed very weak. And I wouldn't say this is going to recover necessarily anytime soon. It's unfortunate. It was just bad news that came out. And once the selling started to come in, it just there was no stopping it. Yeah, I, you know, I, I looked at their uh, like year to date and they were up pretty high in November, just south, I think, of 150, which is about where they were at the beginning of the week. So uh, this this fall that they took was a, a big dive. Uh, but I want to ask you about another one. Uh, there's actually two here that I think are really interesting. We spoke about them earlier. Costco, which had their earnings report earlier today, got some not great numbers and some not great results in the market. Tell us about Costco, Melissa. I know, Costco is another one that tanked today. That literally fell off a cliff last night. It had earnings last night. It could have supported itself today into the open, but it didn't do it. And once Costco started falling, it fell. Costco fell more than $10 today from the open. That is a dramatic move for stock like that. And before today, Costco really looked like a nice buy. It was holding on tough. In fact, Costco looked stronger than the market before today's trading. Again, Costco is still in an uptrend after today, but lots of selling in Costco, lots of selling on Johnson & Johnson and lots of selling all over the place really today in the market. And Adobe, that's another one that reported and they also dropped a, a little bit. Tell us about Adobe, Melissa. Adobe fell too. And again, that dragged down that whole sector. And, and, the, and that sector hasn't been doing good for the last couple of months as well with the market. But Adobe tried to hang on in the first five, 15 minutes of the day. And then once the selling started to come in that, it just fell. These, all of these symbols that we just discussed, all these stocks today, you could have shorted and made money and you could have made a lot of money actually. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, so Sometimes people don't think about this, particularly average investors. But, you know, shorting a stock is certainly a way to way to go. And as you say, people could make some some money. There's been this talk about a Santa Claus rally. But given the three stocks we've talked about today, uh, Johnson and Johnson and Costco and Adobe, uh, all on a downward word trend. You know, I wonder if there's any good news out there, Melissa, uh, Christmas or not. What do you think? Well, I think right now the market is in this holding pattern where it really hasn't broken totally lower. However, we haven't seen enough buying come in to really bring in the power players in the market to lift people and deciding that are regular investors that they want to go full on into the market. We're getting into the very late parts of the year. And as you know, sometimes around the holiday, trading is slow. People are off for the holiday. But I will say this. I don't think the market makes new highs before the end of the year. I said that earlier in the month when we were discussing it. I do believe that the market will hold the uptrend barring any wars however we gapped down this morning and we couldn't hold it up today we fell today in the market in the dow and the s p and that leaves us going into the better part of the last part of the month now the, the next week will be a, a, one of the most biggest last trading weeks until we get into the end of the year and i don't know if the market is going to be able to hold on i think that it will but it's right there at the cusp but what do i mean i mean that some buying has to come into the market so i think the idea of a Santa Claus rally now may be something called a New Year's rally. I believe the market rallies at the very tail end of the year. Could be any time between Monday and the very last trading day of the year that the market is going to hang on and rally and take us into 2019. Because without some good news here, it's going to be very difficult for the market to turn around. Now, we do have the Fed meeting next week. We're going to find out if the Fed is really going to end up raising rates again one more time this year or if they're going to hold off. And I will say this. If they hold off, I think the market will react positively, and that could bring in some buyers, which the market is desperately needing right now at this point. Yeah, well, I wouldn't bet on it, them holding off, but but uh, who knows? What do you I know? know? You I'm never a former know. regulator. Who knows? Uh, uh, Melissa, thank you so much for being with us. We want to have you back before the end of the year to talk about what you see for 2019. We sure appreciate your time. Melissa Armo, the CEO of the Stock Solutions. Thanks, Melissa. Thank you.